a happy and stable life. First, I of am all, happy as hell. Then, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, it helps relieve tension and stress by flooding the system with endorf and with endorphins. Yes, it uh, helps you sleep better, but yes, it also yes. helps prevent <laughs> prostate cancer to the tune of if you do this five times per week. Which, let's face it, I mean that's a <laughs> that's a low number. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> if you do this five times a week, it actually decreases the toxins that uh, lead to prostate cancer to where you can. You can save yourself from getting prostate cancer by thirty percent. Wow! Just by so I'm pretty much I like I'm pretty much got a hundred percent odds right now. <laughs> if you do it ten times a week, it's sixty percent. So if I just like I said, I'm over a hundred, <laughs> so I'm good. Fifteen times a week, I'm at ninety percent. I, I this is awesome. I just got to I yeah actually. I'm gonna, gonna have to slow down that a little extra bit. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit. Sorry. I'm so uh, guys, I got good news for all of you. We uh, first of all will live forever. <laughs> from all the drinking, we'll <laughs> never go uh, insane, and we'll never get prostate cancer. Thank God, we are going to be some happy old, assholes. healthy people. You know what? Cheers yeah. to all of us being extremely healthy people. You don't, know, you, don't, I, I don't won't do it over the board. Over the board yeah. You haven't seen a study yet that said that getting married was making your life go longer, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but you noticed that, dude. Yeah, actually, matter of fact, did we do a study one time? They said we're single men live longer than married men. There is actually a study that uh, from Bank of America that says that you'll have less money. <laughs> than there is a study. Yeah, that's a. That's a fact. I don't even think that's a hypothesis anymore. That's actually <laughs> moved into the fact range. So, yes, uh, let this all be a lesson to all of you out there. And let's face it, if you listen to the show, chances are you do drink a lot and jerk off a lot. Because if you're listening on a Friday, <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening on a Friday, you, you might be doing it you right You probably now. don't have a social <laughs> life. So. Or, or you're married and you're going to die really shortly, from what I can tell. So. Good luck with that. So, hey, I mean, I, I love science. The more oh, scientific. You. The more you know. <laughs> the more revelations <laughs> that come out from science, mm -hmm. the more it confirms that my lifestyle is, uh, you know, is right on par. Now, now you just need to study that says eating pizza at 2 a.m. <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah. We'll we, study that one tonight. We, we, yeah. We, we, we should run our own study. <laughs> did, I, did I ever tell you a time about, uh, so, so <laughs> Tom Grom was down here with me one time, and we got hammered. We decided to raid one of the pizza places here right when they were closing to where they only had, like, you know, they had random so was it like was it still thirty two dollars for a pizza? No, because you know we don't we're cleaning them out. Yeah, we're not taking yeah. advantage of like you are at the pizza places. You know, let's <laughs> goombas, let's goombas <laughs> know what to pay for pizza. We, we got the mix and match, but we special. got the, yeah, we got the mix and match. You got the hookup. You goombas have the hookup with the Pakistanis who own the pizza shop. <laughs> They're Albanian. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. please. Yeah, that, no wonder, no wonder <laughs> they charge you thirty two dollars. You racist. Yeah, absolutely. Caught them packies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no wonder. I didn't but, call them anything. But we had like uh, it was a, a a grab bag of different slices. It was like all these different things and tommy's just like you know what just throw it all in a box and call it a whole pizza yeah, right so we walk up with this well uh, tom and i uh, noted the uh, wonderful uh, assortment of uh, different uh, accoutrements that you could put on the pizza namely being uh, red flaked uh, pepper Ooh. which we decided to douse <laughs> the pizza <laughs> with that makes everything better and yeah. uh, it i tell you what later on we went back to the apartment inside the crash it was like uh um Two dragons were having a battle <laughs> over who had the most fire emanating from their torsos. <laughs> it was like a warlock and a witch in a fight, probably. Man, I, <laughs> I don't know that there was enough Tums in that uh, condo. There was no. not enough Tums for Toms? <laughs> Did you have to do the water trick in the morning? Oh, um, I know the what you're referring to when you take a picture of uh, just, water. Just a cup, usually. Why do. don't you explain to the audience what the water trick is? Well, the w it's it's uh it's remarkable, and it might sound a little funny, but I'm I, I I'm a believer. It works. <coughs> Basically, sometimes when you eat maybe too much peppery stuff and drink Milwaukee's Best or another beer that's not so good for you, Kirkland's. Um, Kirkland's, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> drink something along those lines, and eat like uh, a. I can think of one instance where it was a jalapeno stuffed pepper or a uh, pretzel that really got me. What you do is you take a cup of ice water and you kind of lean forward while you're on the toilet in the morning. And it's, it's a little spicy, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, you just kind of arch your back and dump the cold water down your back. Okay. It's like wiping with a snow cone. Yeah. Yeah. It just, <laughs> it just goes down and uh, it follows, the, you know, the, the crack, if you will. Yeah. Like, just like any water will. Usually runs to low areas. And, uh, yeah, you can actually hear steam. <laughs> <laughs> Good. No, if anybody ever has this going down, try it. You'll you'll thank me. This is please a, report back. This is a helpful <laughs> helpful hint from uh, Reverend Needles. Thank God I only had heartburn. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm not so sure about that. I mean, yeah. uh, <laughs> there were. Uh, well, I couldn't feel my mouth either, but there was, was quite a bit of uh, damage done to my bathroom when I walked in there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember you bringing a girl home that night. That's all. No. Maybe. That was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think it's. On that note, it's time to go another commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> when, we, when we get back, when we get back, how's it uh, going, Joe? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you know, it's apparently the Swedes aren't uh, in tune with science because a Swedish bakery is cooking up phallic pastries for prostate cancer research. If only they would have, uh, you know, flogged the uh, uh, flogged the uh, uh, gelatinous candy. Fish. Maybe they're naked <laughs> pastries, so they give somebody to <laughs> look at. Something to look at well. And then you got something to eat when you're done. It's, pretty <laughs> good. it's, a, it's a pretty good product. I know this is going to be shocking to you guys, but a study from Maxim shows that most women are turned on by other hot women. Oh, no. I, I know you're shocked. Everybody's turned on yeah. by hot women. Now women. I'm really screwed. Yeah. So uh, when we get back, we'll get into all that and much more for the last segment of the show. Craniacs, stay with us. Were you injured in a car accident? Don't you worry. Don't call 911. Don't call a lawyer. At 1555 Gary Who, we see no need to involve the law. How you doing? I'm the one and only Polly P. As soon as you get in a wreck, you call me on my cell, and I'll personally dispatch two, uh, shall we say, gentlemen to the scene to give the other party involved an offer they can't refuse. Whether it's a new car, money, it don't matter. We guarantee to get you just what you deserve. At 155 Gary Who, you forget about it. We work for you to get you what you deserve. At 155 Gary Who, the client is subject to terms and conditions stated on the website and must share the names of immediate family members before service is rendered. Big Muffins! Yo, this Big Muffin, what you do? You get caught tripping? Miss Court, you got a warrant? No matter what you did, you got cash, Big Muffin's got your ass. Day or night, we'll keep your butthole right. Call one five 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 butt right Big Muffin's Bail Bonds, service in Greater Central Florida. Howdy, folks. Billy Boy's back and ready to get you mile high. <laughs> Thanks for voting, all you green leaves, and opening the door for Amendment 64. I am excited to announce to you the grand opening of my top shelf marijuana boutique in Emporium, Commander and Leaf. At Commander and Leaf, we only procure from the choicest fields and botanical masters. From sour diesel to Maui Wowie and candies to space cakes, we have it all. All our confections are created right on site. So come seal the deal and enjoy some Billy Delights. And don't forget to check out my other products, Billy Bags and Bill Doze, for all my discriminating constituents. I am Bill Clinton, and I approve these party supplies and f toys. <laughs> First, there was five hour energy, and then there was six. Now you can get a continuous 48 hours of energy because cardiac arrest is taking energy drinks to a whole new level. Just one bottle has kept me up for days! Cardiac arrest contains a formula that was once only available to Chinese military personnel. You don't get that rundown feeling because you're never gonna come down! Cardiac arrest is making dieting a thing of the past. Don't worry about the calories because you're never gonna feel hungry! Cardiac arrest is gonna get your motor running. My bowels have been empty for weeks and I feel great! Look for cardiac arrest energy drinks at a flea market or fireworks stand near you. Uh, this is Tim the Bear from the Cleveland Show. You're listening to the Cranial Emission Show on Spreaker.com. I uh, hope you like his show. Like 48 bars with no hope. Come on, me flipping through my pages out my favorite notebook. The 
microphone was in the closet. No headphones, we lost it. They just scared to get some water. Roaches hanging over the faucet. No AC. Ah, uh, welcome back to the. Wow, that cut out kind of odd. Welcome back to the Crane Mission Show. Ben Charles, the C squared, the Reverend Joey T, and our. Uh, Technical supervisor and repairman Tom <laughs> Grom, <laughs> all hanging out here to uh, spill our guts or our beers all over the mixing board. Uh, <laughs> in terms of <laughs> opinions on things, this is the final segment of the show. If you are a fan, go to craniomissions.com. Listen through there. We like that better because there is an interactive map that tells us where around the world you're listening from. I'll urge you once again, go to facebook.com slash the craniomissions network. Like the page there. Follow us on Twitter at craniowe. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Let us know where you're listening from. It's always a good time. We teased before the break. Perhaps Sweden should have the same scientists that we do, and then they wouldn't have to cook phallic pastries for prostate cancer research. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you know, hey, uh, th- I'm happy to see somebody doing some research. You don't you don't get a whole lot of uh, whole lot of press or anything going on for the prostate cancer research, even though that kills more people than breast cancer. But breast cancer gets all the awareness. Well, everybody likes titties better. Yeah, than that's the prostate. true. <laughs> I, think true. I, I think it makes sense. But yeah, this uh, the bakery in uh, in Sweden is raising money for prostate cancer by offering penis shaped pastries filled with passion fruit mousse. Sc- scroll up for the picture. Again. There you go. Want to see the picture? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a little uh, penis looking pastry with a little blue ribbon on it. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty nice. Of them. Uh, 60, 60 cents from each of their uh, each of their uh, pe- penis cakes <laughs> <laughs> will be donated to prostate cancer research. I how, many, like, how many people in Sweden you think walked up to a girl and were like, "You want a penis?" And then, and, and, and <laughs> Just then opened kidding. the box. That was like the joke of the weekend, I, I'm sure. And they were like, "Oh, you, be- oh, that's so funny." Well, right. did, I, did I get? I think I told you guys this story when I went to. Uh, I don't know if I told you on on air or off air. Uh, a couple of years ago, went to Hungry Howie's to get a, a pizza during October. A penis? When they have no, the uh, pizza. Sorry. they have their the pink pizza box. Oh. And I'm standing in there. The girl behind the counter was actually kind of cute. And I'm standing there, and I was just. I saw, I, wait, wait, wait. You saw her pink box? No, I just told her. I said, I like your pink box. And <laughs> as soon as I said it, I realized how bad that sounded. That sounded Because I was just talking about her, the actual pizza box. But I said, oh, I like your pink box. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Did, did, did she double take at all? Or what was her she response? Played it, she played it right off. Did she? Yeah, okay. she did. I was like, oh, God. Thanks. She might have been too young <laughs> to realize what I was saying. Thank so, God. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> I don't think she was too young to know what you were saying. Yeah, I mean, no. it's pretty much a pink box. Did you guys uh, <laughs> Netflix and chill later? Or? Yeah, we did actually. <laughs> it, was, it was a good time. Good time. Ate some pizza out of a pink box. They watched the pink. They watched the Pink Panther. <laughs> it had some pink. They listened to some pink. <laughs> yeah, some yeah. pink. Some, pink <laughs> some new music. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Pink you're Floyd. Bad. You're bad. After that, you're dude. bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's that's actually not as bad as this next one. It's a new product called Scrotatote. Scrotatote gives customers X-ray fashion X-rated fashion accessory. It's a backpack. It's made out of a uh, of it a rubbery like silicone that looks like a yeah a, a scrotum basically. Nobody wants to see that. No, <laughs> why? Do you, but uh, <laughs> no, they're saying it's a it's a crowdfunding uh, campaign uh, to launch mass production. They need about thirty thousand dollars to uh, to raise enough money to uh, uh, basically, make the mold for the skin textured part of the bag. As if the uh, bumper accoutrement that we experience here in America, where yes. you know the phenomena of the redneck truck that has the balls. Oh right, from right, it. <laughs> right. As in, that's not bad enough. That was enough. Now we're going to tap into an even worse vein <laughs> by uh, and and pick something that's even uh, more of a low hanging way to. <laughs> um, you know, keep uh, going, keep going. I, I can keep coming up with. Uh, you, you have one, Tom? No, I'm just looking at the fact that it's out of Montreal. So, oh, is it? It's not oh. not much surprising to me. Well, they got two versions. They got uh, the young man and the old man. <laughs> <laughs> the old man carries the old man the old has ca- more. Carries more, definitely. <laughs> it, it's a lot. It's a lot larger. It's got longer straps. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I could just I could just imagine how many of these you would see walking around the theme parks in this area. <laughs> no, dude, that's ridiculous. They're going to make them illegal. There's no way you can wear balls in your bag, man. Why? Why? And why would you? Oh, oh I agree. Why would you? But like one big boob, one you know, big boob would make a better backpack. What's interesting about these backpacks, guys, is that. Uh, when you wear these and the weather is cold, you can actually put a lot less inside of it. Uh, yeah, they. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and if you get them wet, and if you get them wet, pretty much pushes everything out of the top. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Dude. So you have to be careful with that. You have to mine the uh, elements. Yeah, it's a very shrink. It's a very shrinkable type material. <laughs> <laughs> now, do they come oh. in? Do they come in shorn and unshorn? 
No. I mean, can you get a furry backpack? So it's like a Wookiee looking thing. You <laughs> no, but uh, uh, you can actually see like the hair follicles. You can. There's like uh, little, yeah, they're like little little bumps for wow. the yeah. They, not they're not pretty. Do they make the herpes and non herpes version? Um, oh, only in southern New Jersey. No, only they, they just okay. they make the normal in the Ben version. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. It, it's, 